recording already. Um, <clears throat> this nigga say I got speed. <laughs> <laughs> Camera got speed. Hey, yo, we're finally here. Finally. Love and Loyalty Weekend is popping off this weekend. It starts Friday at the Commission Beer Chamber. The Commission, that's where we're going to set it off with all the best DJs representing Low Life. We got here the one and only DJ Excess from Low Life Miami Family, always holding it down every Love and Loyalty Weekend. Say what's up to the peoples. Tell them what to expect this Friday, day one of Love and Loyalty Weekend. Yo, you already know what it is. And if you don't allow me to tell you, uh, this is DJ Excess, uh, Vice President Miami Fam. Uh, you know, taking a little trip this weekend for the Low Life, uh, you know, Love and Loyalty Weekend up in Orlando. Uh, Friday, we're going to be at the Commission Beer Chamber. It's going to be really some dope shit. It's going to be, that's, that's the night for all the DJs. So we're going to have all the DJs in the building, basically just, you know what I'm saying, playing all the hits, all the good shit. A uh, bunch of underground gems, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be hosted by uh, Hakeem Green, you know what I'm saying? Like, so many so many DJs is going to be there. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh, you know, from Miami, of course, it's going to be me and uh, Heron coming up there to hold it down, you know what I'm saying, to mix it up with the rest of uh, the Orlando masses. You know, it's, it's going to be a great time, man. Can't wait to end the commission, Beer Chamber. You know, that, that spot is super dope you know what i'm saying so probably get inebriated a lot of beer there probably be drinking probably most definitely be drinking they have a lot of great music. choices a lot, lot of great choices you know big shout out to the commission beer chamber yeah they really went out of their way to to have you know tons of great local beers on tap and they also have beers in cans and bottles and, and fridges so they're gonna have a little bit of everything for everybody it's a really dope spot they support hip-hop We've been doing a lot of events there with Low Zone. They got a great spot for the DJ, and we're going to be outside. We got vendors. LeBronx James is, is doing double duty. He's going to be a vendor. He's going to be performing. And uh, it's Not gonna... Friday. He, he not, Friday, he's just getting his vendor duties on. Fr Saturday, he's performing. Yeah, that's correct. So come through Friday. Friday is going to be amazing. We're going to have vendors, and all the DJs are going to spin. We're going to have everybody that came into town is going to be networking at the Commission Beer Chamber. So it's the first day, a very first exciting day of the Love and Loyalty Weekend. You definitely don't want to miss it because it's more of like an intimate vibe. And, you know, always Hakem Green is always going to, you know, tear it down. But I wanted to ask you real quick, Excess. Uh, what are some of your favorite memories of Love and Loyalty Weekend? Like, see if you can remember. I mean, my favorite thing about everything is just the camaraderie. You know, how we all get together. Um, you know, the, the experience of uh, being with, you know, different members from different places and just getting to lock in with them and build with them, you know, work on music. Um, sometimes it's not even working on music. It's just building, you know what I'm saying? Just chopping it up you know, as individuals and shit, just talking about life in general, you know, you find out a lot about people uh, on, you know, as far as the DJs go, you know, I, it's dope because I, I, the way somebody spins kind of tells you a lot about them as well, you know, so it's a, it's a great opportunity to build with, you know, other artists. It's dope. I, I, that's my favorite part. My favorite part is the building part, you know, um, and, and as far as like, like memories go like so many hip hop moments have happened um you know in the past like anytime we get together it, it's a it's a historic event but it's just a hip hop moment and all about there's so many hip hop moments that I could that I could just speak on if 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 you don't mind I, I'll give you two yeah um this one um was actually at a uh back when we used to do the art basil and and I, I know it's not a love and loyalty weekend right but I'm just saying cuz every time we, we've gotten together as a family uh, flow life right orlando miami um the last time that we did uh you know grandma's house it wasn't at grandma's house it was at 004 connect right yeah 2018 and, uh, at the at the end yep at the end of the night everybody was gone but you know i still had my equipment up and then um nando was sitting there um you know the congas and shit we just are fucking around with the salsa music like you know just cutting up the salsa like little joints while he was playing the, the congas and it was so dope that uh c-ray's uh walls jumped up and started freestyling and then third start freestyling with him 
was nobody there. It was just us. It was like a dope ass hip hop moment. That it's like the kind of shit that I think about. Like imagine being on acid and you're walking around, and all of a sudden you come up on CBA walls and there's out a third freestyling. Nobody will believe you. Like yo, I fucking walked by this spot and this guy was playing the congas. This dude was scratching. There's a how the third C Ray's walls was out there freestyling. It was the illest shit ever. Like people were like shut the fuck up. You know, stop doing drugs. That one, um, and just recently, uh, in January, when we came up for um for Thursday's birthday, when we had the event up there, um, after the show, after everybody was done, this is the second hip hop moment in case people are wondering. They're not connected, but kind of <clears throat> so anyway, we was playing music and shit. Or rather, I was starting to play music because the show was the, the show was done, so we were just playing some music. And uh, I was playing uh Big Daddy Kane and no half stepping. And but I was kind of like teasing the crowd. I wasn't dropping it right. Planet Angel was like, "Yo, <laughs> please drop the song," because <laughs> he wanted to hear the song. He was like, "Please." So finally, I dropped it, and like a bunch of MCs started jumping on stage. And, and then uh, Planet Angel grabbed the mic and he started spitting the verse. You know what I'm saying? The Big Daddy Kane verse. They know half stepping, but he was changing it up. So you know, because I got the Serato, the, the stems and all that, right? I just pushed the button and I turned it into the instrumental and he just started going off over the uh big daddy can't even have steps that shit was ill like that's a uh th- th- these are hip-hop moments that if anybody got to catch and witness bear witness to them you know what I'm saying it's just it's things like that that I appreciate the most that I take with me uh that I'm gonna take with me forever you know what I'm saying and it's made me keep coming back to these events that's real that's the real what you basically said is the unscripted the unplanned the surprise appearances you know those are the magic moments and all of it is around hip-hop the hip-hop culture and and we bring together amazing amazing mcs and have you ever seen a a, a better lineup for a love and loyalty weekend performance this brooklyn bridge to orlando have you seen anything crazier than this nah man this is gonna be crazy um honestly the only thing that I've seen, and I'm going to keep it a buck, that even compared to this would be like the Wu block, right? When it was like Sheik Luch and Ghostface, that was dope. But even then, it was just them. Um, or, you know what I'm saying, the Gun Basil, you know what I'm saying, where it was, um, you know, West Side Gun and uh, Benny the Butcher and them came out. Uh, that was dope. You know what I'm saying? When, when we did the one in Orlando, that was dope. But again it's just those artists in particular but to have something this massive where it's cellar dwellers you know what i'm saying it's coco brothers you know what i'm saying aka smith and wesson you know what i'm saying like tv alias christ the smith brothers like something like this no i haven't seen nothing on this level like with this many artists you know what i'm saying something like this i have not seen in a long time yeah I, and i just hope people get to come and don't and don't miss out man because we got a lot of people coming through you know what i'm saying got uh, you know kenyatta black you know what i'm saying google these names do the knowledge kenyatta black the bronx obviously everybody know the plug the bronx sav skills you know what i'm saying kingdom come Miami family red rum orlando massive they get busy head crack from georgia lounge low you know what I'm saying? This is the originator of the slang, the Wu-Tang slang. You know what I'm saying? Like, Google these dudes. Like, it's, it's crazy. Wordsworth, you know what I'm saying? From fucking Lyricist Lounge. You know what I'm saying? Thurston How the Third. It's just a lot. And hold up. I, while I, I wanted to make sure I was looking at the list while I was talking about this. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't leave nobody off. I wanted to mention the DJs also for Friday real quick. You know what I'm saying? Throwback Champ, DJ Cub, DJ Ronan. DJ Bahamia Fresh, DJ Dolo, that's an uh, Orlando legend. Me and Dolo go back to like 97, 98, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Hakeem Green, Channel Live, you know what I'm saying? DJ Rome, DJ Heron from Miami. Yo, there's so much going on this weekend. I really hope, I, I really, really hope people come through because this shit's going to be definitely one for the books. No, that's the real. Yeah, it is. This is the craziest one, and we've been attending these for almost 10 years you know coming up yeah i think you know so it is it keeps getting better every year it keeps getting amazing and um you know we're thankful you're still rocking you're still holding it down you you're a solid solid contributor to love and loyalty weekend it wouldn't be the same without you you know we appreciate you excess you know 
always always holding it down and um i'm excited to see your set you know i don't know if you're gonna drop some of the some new records you know the you got like two new albums out this year already so i don't know if you got surprises for heads oh you know you know look one of the things especially down here like i stay playing like the local shit but the local scene down here on some real shit hip-hop wise is popping like we got some powerhouses down here you know what i'm saying like it's just a, a lot going on right now it, 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 we just dropped the death comes in trees it's uh me orion money mowgli then i'm um, dropping the, the grupo henny album with me heron and nando i was gonna be kind of like it's like a, a spanglish you know what i'm saying like an album and shit. but right now warming up to that like leading up to that right we're warming them up we're dropping this is almost like a it's like an ep with no name you know what I'm saying? it's dropping a bunch of songs so you can start getting familiar so that when we hit you in the head with the fire it's gonna be crazy tomorrow we dropping a, a video mashup video shot by uh box low you know what i'm saying salute Miami fan president box low back on his camera back on the camera grind uh we got a video in with him so we're dropping that one tomorrow and that's gonna be with uh with me uh shoddy and money mowgli like a little mashup it's two songs but we mashed them together you know what i'm saying so it's, it's, it's a lot of heat yeah. on one uh on one track inside of that shit needed the video you know what i'm saying so that's what it is and i and i love how yes you're definitely gonna hear some you're collaborating with some amazing you know legends that have been in the game for a minute miami like power like you said powerhouses and 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 i'm thankful that in 2024 they sound better than ever and and you guys are coming together with like some amazing uh, some amazing records videos the palmetto video was awesome i love that the tesla inferno joint i hope you guys make a video for that that one's going crazy yeah 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 man fucking um that 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 um that comes in trees was a little like bullet man that shit had some bombs on it you know what i'm saying like drop that shit like you know that shit was uh it was just us fucking around you know what i'm saying and then it was like and it, you even hear it in one of the songs yeah that you're like, like yeah, we should do a whole album of these yeah, yeah 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 we should that, do this <laughs> that was that yeah and that and that's and that's how it started yeah. that was like i was just kind of like half joking but i was for real because like, like yo every time we jump on something we murder this i was like yeah we should do an album of these joints and then you know orion being orion was like put them joints together and Forget about it. You see the result. You know, his daughter drew that cover. Oh. Orion's daughter drew that cover. Damn, that's fire. So, yeah, so we're just trying to tap into all the resources and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much going on, even with the plancha. You know what I'm saying? Um, plancha still going strong. We got number uh, 13 uh, dropping May 11th. You know what I'm saying? Which I believe is that the weekend after this one? Yeah, yeah. After Love yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, it's, dude. The work don't stop, man. Shit is bugged out, like, and it's it's crazy, like how just how shit keeps coming. Like, look, after I get off with you and shit, like you know, like whatever we're doing this, I gotta get to work on the plancha mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Because the plancha mixtape, trying to drop that, probably cinco de mayo. You know what I'm saying? So we can have that in rotation. You know, niggas warm up, like you know what I'm saying? We we you know right now we pushing the uh you know may the fourth be with you at the commission beer chamber <laughs> on friday may 3rd, you know may saturday 3rd. we at the iron cow oh my bad i'm sorry you're right friday's may 3rd yeah. pardon me friday's may 3rd saturday at the iron cow was may the fourth be with yeah. you then cinco de mayo downey park and then after that plancha heavy style plancha and heavy rotation and just keep dropping shit, bro like right now we just trying to right now we just trying to do a little bit of everything bro you know what i'm saying like I know a lot of niggas is like, damn, son, you all over the place right now. Like, you don't think it's too much? I'm like, nah, fuck it. Because what did they have before? You know what I'm saying? So I figured I got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, heads, you know heads don't see it. That mean, you, you got these things in the chamber for a minute. This is all like a long time coming. You're hitting them with coco right, tassos, But right. all that hard work you know, was there, baked in the pie. Yeah, you know that. Honey, you, you know that because you've been here to the lab. You know what I'm saying? We put in that work before. You know what I'm saying? The the palm the um what was it uh polo and palm trees album that shit was hard too bro yeah word no we gotta we need to push that shit again yeah no and you know you, you're doing some some crazy shit that's why I'm looking forward to uh you know the love and loyalty weekend and you know you come in with the heat I know you're gonna bring that Miami heat that 305 flavor especially the new records that you got and I'm thankful that 
Nando's gonna make an appearance. So you know, yeah. we got yeah. that Spanglish Spanglish unlock. You know what I mean? But yeah, excited Hell this yeah. Friday once again. Love and loyalty weekend. The Commission Beer Chamber, one of the most amazing places that celebrates hip hop, and we're bringing all the hip hop heads over there. Y'all can't miss it. It's gonna be a crazy, crazy night. Friday night. Join us there. We're gonna be in the building. 